Hello and welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I will be talking about CSS gradients. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started with this tutorial, we are going to be using the same um, code that we were using the last time, but this time I am going to erase um, the CSS code that I had in there. Actually, I'm just going to leave it empty. And we are going to go to w3schools.com and I want you to go to the advanced section and click on CSS gradient. Okay, so I am going to be talking about gradients, what they are, and two type of gradients that you're going to be using in CSS. So I hope you learn a lot in this tutorial. Okay, first of all, gradients. Gradients let you display smooth transitions between two or more specified colors. So this is an example of what a gradient background looks like. Now, CSS defines two type of gradients, as I was explaining before. We will take a look in today's tutorial at linear gradients, which they go, they go down, up, left, right, and more. And also we have radial gradients, which are defined by their center, which are just like circles in the middle, right? So let's get started with CSS linear gradients. Okay, so um, to create a linear gradient, you must define at least two color stops. The color stops are the colors that you want to render smooth transitions among. You can also set a starting point and a direction or an angle along with the gradients effect. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples right now of what this means and how you can use this in your code. So let's go to our code. Let's go to our HTML file and I am going to remove all, all this all this information from my HTML document. Also, I have my style empty, so let's go ahead and refresh our page. Okay, perfect, we have a blank site. So, the direction top to bottom, this is the default, okay, top to bottom. Now, to use um, uh, the gradient, here is what we need. We need to use a background image. And the background image, has to has to be um, uh, has to include the linear gradient um, properties. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. In our style, we're going to tell our buddy to have a background image, and okay, we have to specify if it's a linear gradient or a radial one. So in this case, we're going to be using a linear gradient. And we're going to use the same example, red and yellow. Red and yellow. We're gonna hit save. And now let's see what does this do to our page. We're gonna hit refresh. And well, as you can see, it puts um, uh, the, the color red and yellow into our entire page. We can also do left to right, but in order to do the left to right, we need to make sure that we specify the direction at the beginning, okay? So we didn't specify the direction here. We just say we want it red and yellow, right? But we have to specify the direction to let uh, our CSS file know what we want. So let's do left to right. If we want to do left to right, we have to say go to right, okay? So let's do that. We're going to say linear gradient to right before the color red, so to right, and then we have the two colors. And now I am going to hit refresh here, and boom, it changes, right? Now we see a smooth gradient going left to right. Now we can also change this, um, like the one before, to bottom, right to left bottom right yeah like we can say to bottom right here let's do that so let's say to bottom okay so let's say to bottom right and this is going to change now let's hit refresh okay so now you see it goes to the bottom 
and then to the right. But anyways, you can go ahead and you can play around with to bottom right, to top. We can actually do to bottom. Let's just see what does this do if I just say to bottom. Okay, so you see how the color changed. We can also say to top, hit save and refresh and it changes again. And then we can go ahead and we can say to left, save this. And you see how it's beautifully transitioning to the left. So you can go ahead and you can play around with this and actually experiment the many ways that you can use linear gradients. Now, in addition to this, you can not only use one color, like we are able to use several colors. But before I get into the several colors we can use, um, I also wanted to show you another one, which is um, the degree. We can also use uh, the gradients to degrees. So 180 degrees will give us the following. So we have to use the degrees here, just like this is example. So instead of saying to the left, I wanna say 180 degrees. I'm gonna hit save here, then I'm gonna hit refresh. See, it changes. Now if I wanna change this to 45 degrees, I just put the number 45, hit save, and then I will hit refresh. Okay, which is uh, basically from left to right. <laughs> That's another way to transition your gradients in a linear gradient um, okay now let's go ahead and let's add another color if we want we can add a third color here and we can say blue we can save this information and then we can hit refresh and now you see we have three gradients red yellow and blue just to give you an example so go ahead and play around with this but that's how you can use linear gradients if you have questions about linear gradients, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you as soon as I can. Okay, now moving on, let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, radial gradients. So to use radial gradients, what we are going to change is this portion of our code. And as I said before, a radial gradient is defined by its center. Okay, so wherever the center is, is where the gradient is going to start. You have to use the shape size at position and then the start color and what's gonna be the last color, etc. defining the, the colors, right? So here, a radial gradient with only red, yellow, and green will look like this. So in order for you to see how gradients work, I am going to add an H1. So let's go ahead and just select an H1 and we are going to be using um, the background image and we're going to be using radial gradient and we're going to use red uh, pink and I don't know blue why not right <laughs> okay let's hit save and we're going to hit refresh okay so if our element contains some information like here, P, then the gradient will re be reflected, as you can see, and it's a circle, okay? So that's how you will see the gradient. Now, you can use a different type of gradient in here. Um, in fact, uh, we have uh, different shapes and positions. Like, we can, we, can, we can actually do the shape of a circle for a gradient, and all we have to do here go to our style and we just have to say that this is going to be in a shape of a circle. I'm gonna hit refresh and then I am going to hit refresh again. And now it might not look like in a shape of a circle, but it is. Okay, so that's how you will use the radial gradient. And if you go ahead and you go to the radial um, gradients in the CSS advanced chapter, you can also play around with different size and keywords. Um, in fact, we have the closest side, farther size. And as you can see here, we can use um, all these properties. Actually, let's just use all of them as they are like this in here. Let's copy them. And we're going to paste them inside of our code. Now we're gonna hit save and let's hit refresh here. And you see, now this has been applied into our um, HTML site. Okay, so I believe that's the most important things you need to know about radial 
um, radial gradient. If you want to read a little bit more in here, you're more than welcome to take a look and, and see this tutorial. Okay, if you have questions about gradients, either linear gradients or um, radial, uh, put them in the comment section below. As soon as I read them, I will make sure that I reply to them. Okay, so that's it for this video today, everyone. I hope that you liked it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe so that way you can get notified every time that I upload a video. And as well, remember that you can always ask Lixie. Bye, everyone. See you again in the next episode.